Long Beach is celebrating its own piece of aviation history this year. City leaders, Long Beach airport officials, and the management of JetBlue marked the 100th anniversary of the first transcontinental flight of Cal Rogers and his Vin Fizz aircraft, which made it from Sheepshead Bay, New York, to Long Beach in 1911. Oh, we're so fortunate, and a lot of people don't realize that Long Beach was the focus of aviation because of our beach, and this is where he landed. He landed about 800 feet um, near where we now have the Long Beach Arena because the sand was compacted, and pilots who were just learning how to fly would take off and land there. It was just a wonderful place to be. We're promoting the heritage as well because we're making a lot of changes to this airport. We've got a brand new parking garage, was done ahead of schedule and under budget. Uh, the passenger terminal is being remodeled. We're going to celebrate Cal Rogers' flight and uh, we're going to celebrate the future of aviation in Long Beach. JetBlue is marking their own jets for the occasion, placing a special Centennial logo just behind the nose of their aircraft. And although Cal Rogers crashed 15 times during his historic flight, you can see a pristine one-third scale replica of the Vin Fizz on display in the airport's main terminal. Oh, it's an amazing collaboration between Councilwoman Jerry Shipsky, uh, the airport, and our airline partners, JetBlue, to bring this event to the airport today. The best we could do was JFK to Long Beach for $100. So, as of this minute, that fare is available only at JetBlue.com. Restrictions apply. Go online and look. <laughs> and it's for travel in January to uh, link people on the same route that uh, we're celebrating this week. If you'd like more information, please visit lgb.org.